Novak Djokovic's attempt to get around Australia's stringent COVID-19 rules was challenged by a Labour Party MP who asked why the Serbian believed he should be above it. The tennis ace has thanked Serbian President Aleksandr Vucic for his support during his legal battle to play at the Australian Open. His visa was cancelled and he was deported due to being unvaccinated. Claims later emerged that he falsified a positive COVID-19 result to circumvent vaccination rules. Serbian officials hit back at these claims, however. Speaking to Mr Vucic last week, Djokovic said, I am very grateful for your acts that also put you in a troubling political position in international relations. I will remember that for a long time. Mr Vucic said he saw how Djokovic was willing to fight not only for himself, but his country. He said, thank you for the great fight you fought in Australia. Despite the support Djokovic received from his home country and from many around the world, others have been left po-faced at the ordeal. Chris Evans, a Labour MP for Isselwyn in South Wales and vice-chair of the Tennis All-Party Parliamentary Group, APPG, told Express.co.uk that he did not see why the Serb believed he was above the rules that everyone else in the competition, and the country, had to follow. Sports stars ordinarily stand by one another when criticised by the press, but in this instance many of Djokovic's tennis colleagues, including Andy Murray and the Hungarian Martin Fucevic, pushed back against his actions. Asked why he believed this had happened, Mr Evans said, I think it just comes down to human nature. Everybody else has followed the restrictions and the law, why should he be above it? The other thing that muddies the waters is the misinformation that was on the visa application that he blamed his support team for. I'm sorry, but at that level, when you're the world's best player, you should have the best people around you and they should have known the rules, because when that information went on there it caused him all sorts of difficulties. In a statement posted to his Instagram page on January 12th, Djokovic said his agent made a mistake on his entry form when providing details of his travel in the days before his arrival in Australia. He apologised, and said his team had provided additional information to the Australian government to clarify this matter. A recent BBC investigation has claimed to have found information that casts doubt on the timing of the positive COVID-19 test Djokovic used to enter Australia to try to compete in the open which was provided to exempt him from rules barring unvaccinated people. It said the serial number of his test on December 16 appears out of sequence with a sample of tests from Serbia over this period. The BBC also said it was higher than for his second, negative, test result from six days later. The new findings raise questions over what impact a later positive test result would have had on his ability to enter Australia. A previous investigation by a German research group called Zafoshang first picked up on the discrepancy that the earlier test had a higher confirmation code than the later one. They partnered up with German news site Der Spiegel, who reported on the issue, writing a blog titled, Novak Djokovic's Time Travelling PCR Tests. The two tests taken by Mr. Djokovic were processed in different laboratories, so it is possible that the labs were issued with different batches of confirmation codes, perhaps explaining why his first test has a higher code than his second. However, the BBC have two other codes in a list they collected that were processed in the same lab as Djokovic's positive test, two days and four days after his sample, which both have lower confirmation codes. There is also a chance that a glitch happened, giving the first test a higher code. The Serbian authorities responded to the issues raised by the BBC and said Djokovic's COVID-19 tests were authentic. In a statement, Belgrade Public Prosecutor's Office said, it was established that Novak Djokovic was tested multiple times and the test results from December 16 and December 22 were valid.